Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Singh and today I'm going to teach about the lecture number 36 and this is from unit number 5 and today's topic is application of geotechnical engineering. After watching this video, if you have any doubt, you can contact to me and you can also write an email on saurabh.singh at the rate myyanmiha.com. Now come on the learning objective and learning outcome here. You uh, here you here is the learning objective to provide the knowledge about the application of civil engineering, and here you will understand where where are the applications of the geotechnical engineering, and where this geotechnical engineering can be used in the construction purpose. In learning outcome, student will learn and understand what is the application of geotechnical engineering where we can. Uh, where we can apply geotechnical engineering in the construction, in the construction of bridge, in the construction of road pavement. So this lecture is going to be very important for all civil engineering students. First, we will see the introduction. Geotextile of permeable fabric, when used in association with this soil, has the ability to separate filter and force protect. Typically, it is made up by the polypropylene or polyester geotextile fabrics come in three basic forms. First one is Owen, needle pulled, heat bonded. As you can see, this is your image of geotextile, which is used. which generally used in the uh, work of soil stabilization. Now we will see the function of geotextile, filtration, drainage, separation, reinforcement, sealing. These are the function of geotextile, which is used in the compaction of a soil. As you can see, this image, this image is showing the uh, effect of geotextile. As you can see here, this is your jute, section, jute geotextile, and it is used on the subgrade of the road pavement, and it can protect the road uh, road subbase. It can be also help in the filtration, uh, as we know, equilibrium geotextile to soil system that allowed to adequate liquid follow with the limited soil loss across the plane of geotextile over a service lifetime. So this was about the geotextile. Come on, the mechanical stabilization. In this technique, mechanical energy is used like load, a roller plate compacted temper by the choice of nature of soil to improve the soil properties by the compaction. Prefer preferably for the construction of embankment for the roads, railway, etc. Mechanical stability depends on the degree of compaction. Normally, the compaction is done at a optimum water content. What is the use of mechanical stabilization? Simplest method of soil stabilization to improve the subgrade of low bearing capacity extensively used for the construction of base and sub-base and surfacing of road. Here is mechanical stabilization and we will see here what factor affect the mechanical stabilization. The mechanical stability of mixed soil is depend on the following factor. Mechanical strength of aggregate. The mixed soil is stable if aggregate use have high strength. However, if the mixture is properly designed and compacted, even the aggregate relativity low strength can provide good mechanical stability. Mineral composition, the mechanical stability of mixed soil depend upon the, or the composition of the minerals. The minerals should be with the resistance. Gradation is here. The gradation of, of the mixed soil should be such that the voids of the closer, co coarser particle are filled with the finer particle to obtain a high density. Here you can see the plasticity characteristics. For mid road surfacing, Highly plastic soil are used as a binder. The uh, deposes greater cohesion, moisture retention, capacity, and provide the seal against downward movement of the surface water. 
For base cores, this oil should have low plasticity to avoid excessive accumulation of water, excessive accumulation of water and the resulting loss of strength. This oil available at the site may seldom meet both requirements. It is necessary to mix oil from the different sources to obtain desired mix. Here is physical stabilization. In this technique, more than two or three soil are blended to the improve the physical properties of weak soil. And it is quite often some adductive may also be added for the purpose of cement stabilization, lime stabilization, bitumen soil, bitumen, bitumen stabilization, chemical stabilization, and resin stabilization. First, we will see cement stabilization, the most commonly used for the road construction. Heavy clay are difficult to polarize and not suitable. Well graded sanded and gravel mixture with up to 100% fine binding materials. Quantity of cement to be determined on trial basis basin in the lab. Minimum strength is required for these kind of soil is 3.5 Newton per mm square. 7 days cube strength. It is your 7 days cube strength. Compaction Compaction to be compacted within two hours after laying mixing with the water. General plant method is here also faster construction, expensive dry mix, then wait through the spreading and compaction. Mixing the place method similar uh, it is similar to agricultural rotary cultivator. Firstly, soil is polarized, then dry cement is spread over. Then water is sprinkled, is sprinkled in layer again, remixed and shaped to chamber compacted using ruler. Here is cement stabilization. Normal soil cement is stabilization. It consists 5 to 14 percent of cement by volume. Cement is sufficient to produce a hard and durable material. Sufficient water be used for the hydration requirement and workability. It is weather resistance and good, strong, uh, and used for the stabilization study and the low plasticity soil. It consists of five to fourteen percent of cement by the volume. It has more water. Uh, to have with consistency similar to that of plastering motor at the time of placement, used for the waterproof leaning of canal and reservoir, used for the protection of a steep slope against the water erosion. Here you can see this is your treated material as you can see here, and this is your milling and mixing drum, and that is your untreated material. And spreading, and it is the image spreading cement ahead on the machine and metered injected to the water. Now you can see here the soil stabilization cement, which is known as gloid steps. As you can see here, we also need to do the soil, soil stabilization here. And this is your uh, one image uh, by which. Uh, by where you have to do this file stabilization by the help of this cement and after this file stabilization your soil look like this as you can see here there is some uh, stone aggregates and with the cement they are compacted by the ruler, ruler and this is the also method of a soil stabilization and this is the grinder which is used during this soil stabilization process. Now we will see the lime stabilization. There are basically five types of lime as we all know. High calcium quick lime, hydrated high calcium lime, dolomite lime, normal hydrated dolomite lime, pressure hydrated dolomite lime. The quick lime is more effective than the hydrated lime but the later it is more safe and Convenient to handle generally, hydrated lime is used. It is also known as slick lime. The higher the magnesium content of
the main what is the main goal of the compaction we will see here this is your first diagram as you can see first one is the air water and solids and there is a goal of compaction to reduce air voids volume va in soil as much as possible for given water content w the maximum degree of compaction that can be achieved is when all of the air voids have been removed that is saturation will be equal to one since as we know s will be equal to wgs upon e the corresponding void ratio for s will be equal to one will be e square here e will become here wgs now we will see the principle of compaction the degree of compaction of soil is measured by the dry unit weight of a scatland the dry unit weight of a uh, soil will be the increased by the doing of the compaction. The more compacted soil, if you will see the more compacted soil, it has more dry density in compared to uh, in compared to normal soil. The higher its dry unit weight, uh, GD will be the higher. Now we will see how we calculate the uh, gamma D, which is equal to bulk density of soil. Block diagram. So in fish diagram, as you can see, there is air, water, and solids, and total mass will be represented by the m, and it will be mw plus ms. Miss mw means uh, mass of water plus mass of solid, and we do not need to take here mass of air because we uh, assume as the zero, the mass of uh, air we assume as a zero. Total volume will become here w uh, vw plus Vs and void ratio will be E will be V, v upon Vs will, which is uh, volume of voids upon volume of solids and water contained here will be Mw upon Ms and saturation degree of saturation will be represented by the Vw plus Vv and this is the moist soil unit weight which is represented by the gamma will be equal to Mw plus Ms or divide by total value and it will become W plus 1 Ms upon V which will be equal to 1 plus W gamma dash and in laboratory we have to use vibrating hammer which is known as BS and for fine grade soil we have to use the falling weight and hammer needing compactor and static load and press. Here you can see in the field we have to use the hand operated vibrator plates motorized vibrator Vibrator roller, rubber tire equipment, free falling, compaction vibration, weight and dynamic frequency we can use and hand operated temper we can also use for the uh, field uh, and sea foot roller which is uh, used in the compaction of soil, rubber tire roll this is also used for the soil compaction and standard proctor test first we will see the standard proctor test how we will conduct the standard proctor test. As you can see, RR Proctor in the early 90s was building dam for the old Bureau of Water Work and Supply in the Los, An Los Angeles. And he developed the principle of compaction in series of articles in engineering news record. And variables of compaction is here also. Proctor stabilized that the compaction is the function of four variables as you can see here. First one is dry density, which is represented by the gamma D or dry density unit weight, which will be represented by the uh, and gamma D also. And water content, W, comparative efforts, energy E, and soil type gradation, presence of clay and minerals. These are the variation which affect the compaction. And these are the, you can also say this is the compaction function for the variables. Now we will see the compaction proctor test here. Standard proctor test equipment. There is hammer which weight is 5.5 lb and draw height will be here uh, 12 inch here. Okay. Now come on the uh, volume. Volume of uh, this soil sample will be 1 by 30 feet cubic centimeter or will be which will be equal to 944 centimeter cube. Diameter will be 4 a or 10. 10.6 centimeter height will be 4.584. Okay, now come on the equipment needed for the compaction. As you can see here, uh, first one is given a standard proctor mold, which is uh, 
required one piece standard proctor mold one piece standard proctor hammer will be required one piece extruder uh, will be required one set and x square pen will be required one set thin box tin box will be required 12 pieces graduated cylinder will be required one piece scoop will require one piece and trowel will be required also one piece and these are the equipments which is needed for the doing the compaction of a soil the soil standard proctor test the soil is mixed with the varying amount of water to achieve different water content for each water content the soil is compacted by the dropping a hammer 25 times into the confined soil this soil is mold will be dividing into three lift each lift is compacted 25 times and we can also say each soil will be divided into three layer and each layer will be compacted 25 times this is the done six to uh, four or two six times and this will be the pattern of doing the compaction here now what is the standard energy standard energy is the alpha factor which involves in the compaction of a soil competitive applied to the soil per unit volume will be equal you can see here this is the graph which we have to plot during the compaction by the standard proctor test now we will see the proctor the principle of a compaction using a standard energy if a series of specimen of soil are compacted at increasing water content the result dry density of a specimen will be varied. The density will be increased to a peak value then decrease. So you can understand what we have to do. We have to use the uh, water content in a variation and then we will get the maximum density then we have to uh, stop it and we, we the, on that point we will get our MMD which is known as maximum dry density and after that your density will be decreased as, as mentioned here. Principle of compaction, a plot of a dry intensity versus uh, the water content from the compaction test will be parabolic in a shape. The peak of curve is termed the maximum dry density as I told you MDD and the water content which is peak occur in the optimum water content which is known as OWC and uh, here several standard energies are used for the laboratory of compaction test first one is the standard modified and california and there is a different value of energies which involve in the doing the compaction of a soil now we will see the summary of a standard proctor test here as you can see there is that is your hammer which is uh, which have weight of 5.5 kg and there is also drop distance which is given here 12 feet and use uses 5.5 pound hammer drop 12 inch mold fill in the three lift 25 blows of hammer per lift total energy will be consumed here as you can see 12,400 feet LBS per uh, feet cubic feet and here as you can see here that is the same thing huh? Now we will come on the uh, several standard molds are used depending on the maximum particle size sample. Four inch diameter mold, which is equal to one by 30 feet cubic used for the low gravel content method a soil with will be uh, less than 20% of gravel method B of soil where uh, it will be greater than 20% of gravel and 20% larger than the three by eight inch. And several standard mold are used, as you know, for the compaction of a for the compaction of a soil. Standardized tests are not available for the soil with more than 30% by the weight of the total sample being larger than 3 by 4 inch in the diameter gravel. STM compaction test method are also given here, which is mentioned as here. There is six method of ASTM compaction test. And now come on the uh, what the how, how you have to do the test of the compaction proctor test. First, you have to prepare four to five specimen at the increasing water content about the two percent apart. Example: prepared a sample at 14, 16, 18, and 20 percent. Use range of moisture based on the feel and experience. Like here, as you can see here, 
you have to use the water content in the soil like first you have to use the 14 percent after that you have to use 16 18 20 and you have to repeat this you have to repeat this percentage of water in this soil till you are not getting your maximum dry density here you can see proctor uh, compaction test summary hammer then compacted is is sample into the steel mold with the standard procedure and cured soil is also here and compacted mold is also here now we will see the what will be the next then strike of axis strike of axis soil so that mold has known as volume of the soil as you can see here we have the two strike of the axis amount of soil from this mold so that we can get the exact volume of a soil. Here, as you can see here, laboratory method of determining optimum moisture content and maximum dry density. As you can see, this is your image of mold and standard proctor mold with the hammer. And here is the method which is invented by the art doctor in 1933, which is, as you can see here, your soil layer, your soil layer is divided into three parts. And this is, there will be used, there we have to use 2.0 kg, kg hammer. And each layer, we have to give the 25 blows of a hammer. And now, what we have to do in proctor compaction test summary, we will see here for each sample measure the weight and the water content of the soil in the mold. The mold volume and weight are pre-measured. Don't assume nominal volume 1 by 30 cubic feet and 1 by 13.33 cubic feet. Calculate the moist density, calculate the dry density, plot dry density and water content for each point. As you can see here, what is the problem? Calculate the uh, moist density and dry density. This will be the formula which we will use during the uh, calculation of the uh, moist soil weight of a soil. As you can see here, this is your formula. And now we have to see the dry unit weight. The compacted soil is removed from the mold and it is the, and its dry density or unit uh, which is also known as dry unit weight is measured by d gamma d gamma m upon 1 plus w which is as you can see gamma d is the equals to dry unit weight and w will be the water content v will be the total volume of soil and m will be the total mass of the wet soil and g will be the gravitational acceleration as you can see here by the here mg upon v we have to put the we have to put the data in this formula we will get the dry unit weight of that soil and what is the now we will see the what is the role of water in the compaction process water lubricant the soil grains so that they slide more easily uh, over each other and can thus achieve the more density packed arrangement a little bit of the water facilitate the compaction too much water inhabited compaction as you can see here this is your dry unit weight graph where we have to use the soil and uh, we have to do this density and here is the modified proctor test was developed and now we will come on the modified proctor test we have done a standard proctor test it was developed during the world war second by the u.s army crops engineering for a better representation of the compaction required air field to support the heavy craft as you can see here and in modified proctor test same the standard proctor test of the following exceptions in the this is the soil compacted in the five layer and there will be weight of hammer will be 10 lbs and there is a draw file will be eight inches that is the difference between modified proctor test and standard proctor test and this is the graph of a modified proctor test and a standard proctor test you can see here now we will see the comparison summary of a standard proctor test and modified proctor test mold size will be 1 by 30 cubic feet and here will be 1 by 30 feet cubic feet 12 in the height of drop here will be the mold height of drop which is 18 
is given 5.5 lb hammer and there will be the weight of hammer will be also more in the modified proctor test and there will be three layer in standard proctor test and there will be five layer and this is the difference which is very important to know what is the difference between a standard proctor test and modified proctor test now you can see this is your uh, pair will be which you will get in the uh, during the compaction of a soil now we will see what is the zero air voids as you can see here that is the figure which is showing the dry density and water content relationship and this is also known as degree of saturation graph and jaw as you can see here which is known as zero air voids the curve represent the fully saturated condition which will be where s will be equal to 100 percent and JAV cannot be reached by the compaction. Line of optimum, as you can see here, there is one line of optimus, optimum, a line drawn through the peak points of the several compaction curve at the different compact to refer. For the same soil will be almost parallel to the 100% S curve. And there is also entrapped air, as you can see here in the graph, entrapped air. It is the distance between the weight side of the compaction curve and the line of the 100% saturation. Now we will see the uh, results. What, is the, what will be the results in the dry of optimum? As the water content increases, the particles develop larger and larger water films around them, which then lubricate the particle and make them easier to be moved about the about and reoriented into a denser configuration. Here is also hammer impact. It is air expelled from the soil upon the impact quantity is larger than the volume of water added. And here is also weight of optimum. What is the meaning of weight of all optimum here? And water when our water start to replace the soil particle in the mold, and since there uh, rho will be uh, less than less than ps and the dry density start to decrease hammer impact what is the hammer impact moisture cannot escape under the impact of the hammer instead the entrapped air is the energized and lift the soil in the region around the hammer so these are the result explanation of a uh, uh, compaction as you can see here that is your omc and this is your dry side and this will be your wet side means this will be your soil in the dry condition and this soil will be in the wet condition as you can see now we will see the effect of soil types on the compaction what will be the effect of soil types on the compaction the soil type that is grain size distribution shape of the soil grain specified of soil solids and amount of type of clay mineral present. As here you can see the compaction characteristics. What is the meaning of the compaction characteristics? We will see here unified soil classification. Where is the group symbol GW, GP, GW, GC, SW, SPSM, which will be the meaning of uh, the these types of uh, soil will be uh, good characteristics, have a good characteristics of compaction and SCCL which is good and fair and ml good to poor and ol msch ospt fair to poor and we will see the embankment material what is the uh, which soil will be good for the embankment of the like embankment of the wall embankment of the dam you can see gw sw will be very stable cl will be stable uh, but it will be not like GW and SW, GP, GM, GC and SC reasonably stable. It will be not as good as the CL, SPSM reasonably stable when dense, ML power gets better when high density and OH, MH, CH, O, P, T that are the unstable and poor and you cannot use this soil for the impactment, uh, impactment preparation. And here we will see subgrade material, which is uh, subgrade material means it, this kind of soil used in the construction of 
सब बिसाफे सब बिसाफे रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन और रोड पे उम्मीद एज यू कैन सी जी डब्ल्यू विल बी द एक्सीलेंट जी पी जी एम विल बी द एक्सीलेंट टू गुड जी सी एस डब्ल्यू विल बी गुड एस पी एस एम एस सी विल बी गुड टू फेयर एम एल सी एल विल बी फेयर टू पुअर एंड ओ एल एम एच सी एच ओ एच पी टी विल बी पुअर टू नॉट सुटेबल इट इट कैन इट इज नॉट सुटेबल मटेरियल विच वी कैन यूज फॉर दिस प्रिपरेशन ऑफ ए सब ग्रेड Now you can see the typical compaction curve for cohesion list so sign and sandy gravel. This is the graph which is showing the bulking capacity of a sand and sandy gravel. The low density that is attainable at the low water content is due to the capillary forces resting arrangement of the sand grains. Now we will see water and compaction. What is the relation between water and compaction? Remember what is the effect? what is the effect of water in the compaction first we will see here increasing the water content at which the soil compacted increases the likelihood of obtaining dispersed soil structure with the reduced shear strength increase the pore pressure in the soil decreasing the increase decreasing in the short term shear strength so you can understand this is the relationship between water and compaction and here you can see how water can affect the compaction of a soil here you can see this is your uh, graph which is showing the structure of compacted clay and one will be divided by 30 feet cubic centimeter cubic feet and it will be equal to 12375 feet lbs per, per effect of the compaction on permeability this graph is showing the effect of the Uh, compaction on the permeability permeability at permeability at constant compaction effort decrease when increase water content and reaches at a maximum and minimum at about the optimum if compactive efforts is the increase the permeability decrease because the voids ratio decrease this is the graph which is showing relationship between water content and density and water content and permeability now we can see here this is the effect of compressibility due to the uh, pressure which we use during the compaction and magnitude wet side more compressible in low pressure rain dry side is a high pressure rain and what will be the rate dry side consolidation will be more rapidly as you can see these are the two graph which is showing relation between pressure and natural scale and void ratio and this is also uh, for the low pressure consolidation and this one is for the high pressure consolidation this graph is showing now we will see the compressibility and expansion of a unified soil classification here uh, is a group symbol which is also showing the uh, which is also showing the compressibility and expansion of these uh, soil as you can see here and these five soil will give the very little and this is very slight and this will be slight to medium and medium to high and this is also the group symbol which is showing the uh, compressibility and expansion relationship of this soil now you can see here uh, what will be the effect on the strength sample kaolinite compacted dry of a optimum optimum tend to be more rigid and stronger than the sample compacted wet of optimum okay we was uh, on the lime stabilization the higher magnesium content of the lime the less is, is the affinity for the water and the less for the heat generated during the mixing the amount of lime required varies between 2 to 10% of this soil here is a uh, lime stabilization lime stabilization is done by the adding lime to soil so you can understand what we have to do in lime stabilization we have to use lime with the um, soil and uh, it is help to improve the uh, bearing capacity of soil it is useful for the stabilization of clay soil when lime react with the soil there is the exchange of cation in the absorbed water layer and a decrease in the, the plasticity of the soil occurs the resulting material is more uh, friable than the original original clay and it is therefore more more suitable as this subgrade 
Here types of lime. Lime is produced by the burning of limestone in clay. The quality of limestone obtained depends upon the parent material and the production process. The following amount of lime may be used for the rough guide. 2 to 5% of clay gravel material having less than 50% of silt clay fraction. 5 to 10% for the soil with more than 50% of clay fraction. About 10% of heavy clay used as a base and sub base. For soil having particle size intermediate between 1 and 2 above the quality of lime required is between 3 to 7 percent. Lime stabilization is also not effective for the sandy soil. You cannot do lime stabilization in the sandy soil. Construction method. What is the construction method of a lime stabilization? Construction method is used in lime stabilization are similar to those in cement stabilization. However, the following points should be carefully noted. The reaction in case of lime is slow, there is a maximum time limit between the addition of lime to the soil and the completion of the compaction. Lime may be added in the form of slurry instead of dry powder. A rest period of one to four days generally required after spreading lime over a heavy clay before the final mixing is done. The soil lime is compacted to required maximum dry density. After compaction, the surface is kept moist, moist for the seven days and then covered with the suitable wearing coat. Chemical and physical changes in the lime stabilization we will see here. Lime react with the wet soil, alter the nature of the absorbed layer as the calcium ion is uh, replaced. The sodium of hydrogen ions, the double layer is displayed due to the increasing creation of concentration but sometimes expand due to the high pH value of lime. Lime reacts chemically with the silica and alumina in soil and form natural cement composed for the calcium alumino silicate. In lime stabilization, liquid limit decrease, plastic limit increase, plasticity increase, and index decreases also. Soil become more favorable, uh, favorable and workable. The strength of soil is improved. Unconfined compressive strength is increased up to 60% and modulus of elasticity of soil also increased. Lime causes decrease in tendency of attraction of water. Soil resist to uh, water absorption capillary rise and volume changes on wetting or drying increased. Lime stabilized base and subbase from the water resistance barrier which stop penetration of rainwater. Optimum water content is increased and maximum dry unit weight is decreased. In swampy areas where water content is above the optimum, it helps in drying of the soil. So we have to do our lime stabilization where we need to uh, improve the bearing capacity of soil. Now we will come on the fly yes, soil, soil stabilization. As we all know, fly ash is a pozzolanic material. It reacts with the lime and therefore almost used in the combination with the lime in soil have little or no plastic fine. It has often been not found desirable to use a small amount of Portland cement with the lime and fly ash for added strength. This combination of lime cement fly ash, which is also known as LCF, has been used successfully in the base course stabilization. So this is the ruler by which we can do the uh, soil stabilization by the adding of lime. Here you can see there is a white color which is your lime is mixed with the fly ash and then we have to mix it with the water and your soil wearing capacity will be improved here. Now, as you can see, this is also a method of improving the soil uh, bearing capacity by the soil stabilization. After there is two mills, after 
before adding the line and after uh, adding the line in your surface. These things is generally for uh, conducted for the preparation of pavement and preparation of floor of any important structure. As you can see here, this is also one kind of equipment which is known as a pneumatic roller. It is used to uh, improve the strength of your soil. These are the images which has been, uh, which is, uh, uh, these are the images which is showing the soil stabilization method. Now we will come on the next topic, bituminous stabilization. Here we have to use the bitumen for the uh, soil stabilization. Any organic soil which can be mixed with the asphalt is suitable for the bituminous soil stabilization. In cohesionless soil, asphalt blind, binds the soil particle together and serve as the binding agent. In cohesive soil, asphalt protects the soil by the plugging its voids and waterproofing it. It helps to maintain low moisture content and to increase the bearing capacity. The amount of bitumen required varies between 4 to 7 percent by the weight. Now come on the MCQs. Uh, first question is there. A grilled foundation is, provide, uh, is provided for heavy isolated column or it is it is treated as a spread foundation consists of two sets of perpendicularly placed steel beam. So here right, right answer will be D, all of the above. Come on the next question. Effective stress on soil Increase void ratio and decrease permeability. Increase both void ratio and permeability. Decrease both void ratio and permeability. Decrease void ratio and increase permeability. And here right answer will be decrease both void ratio and permeability. Come on the third question. Hydrometer reading are corrected as temperature correction. Uh, miniscule correction, dispersion agent correction, temperature miniscule and depression agent correction. So right answer here will be uh, hydrometer is used for the all these points which is given in the D. Right answer will be D. Now on the fourth question, the ultimate consolidation settlement of surface resting on wall decrease with increase in the initial uh, void ratio decrease with the in, uh, decrease with the decrease in the plastic limit increase with the uh, in initial void ratio increase with the decrease in the porosity of the soil. Here right answer will be decrease with the increase in the initial void ratio. Come on the fifth question. Select the incorrect sentence. In direct shear box test, the plane of shear failure is predetermined. Better control is achieved on the drainage of the soil in the trial and triaxial compression test. Stress distribution on the failure plane in case the triaxial compression test is uniform. Unconfined, unconfined compressive test can be carried out on all types of soil. Here, right answer will be D. As you can see, D will be your right answer. This uh, this statement is incorrect come on the sixth number question which is factor safety against sliding of slope is the ratio actual cohesion uh, cohesion to that required to maintain stability of slope share strength to share stress along the surface neither a or nor b a right answer will be both a and b d will be your right answer come on the seventh question the angle of internal friction is a Least for angle green loose sand, angular green dense sand, round green loose sand, and D option is clay, which is your right answer. D will be your right answer. Displayed type of soil structure is an arrangement comp uh, comparison particle having. Here is option given face to face or parallel orientation, S to edge orientation, S to face orientation. And all of the above here, right answer will be all of the above. Come on the ninth question. The neutral stress in the soil mass is 
फोर्स पर न्यूट्रल एरिया फोर्स पर इफेक्टिव एरिया स्ट्रेस टेकन बाय द कोर वाटर स्ट्रेस टेकन बाय द सॉलिड पार्टिकल हियर राइट आंसर विल बी स्ट्रेस टेकन अप बाय द कोर वाटर कम ऑन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द कोफिशिएंट ऑफ पर कंप्रेसिबिलिटी ऑफ सोइल इज द रेशियो ऑफ स्ट्रेस टू स्ट्रेन स्ट्रेन टू स्ट्रेन स्ट्रेन टू स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेस टू सेटलमेंट एंड रेट ऑफ द लोडिंग टू द that settlement here right answer will be b strain to stress these are the very important question and these may be asked in your weekly test and this can be also asked in government exams come on the reference these are the reference of today lecture thank you for watching this video